In chemistry, we learned that everything around us is made of tiny building blocks called elements. Every element is unique because each has a specific number of protons in its nucleus, which determines its identity. Scientists have discovered 118 elements so far, and about 94 of them occur naturally on Earth, without having to be made synthetically in labs. We tend to study how the elements interact with each other, but we never actually learn how they were formed in the first place. To answer that, let's go back to the very beginning, the Big Bang. All the matter that exists today started from a rapid expansion of space from a state of immense heat and density, marking the start of the universe. About 10 seconds after the Big Bang, a process called nucleosynthesis began, which lasted for about 20 minutes. Most of the action, including the formation of nuclei, occurred in the first three minutes, or about the length of this video. Nucleosynthesis literally means making atomic nuclei, and this process created the first elements, primarily hydrogen and helium, along with some lithium and beryllium. It can occur in three different ways, and the Big Bang was the first instance of it. Right after the Big Bang, the universe was extremely hot and dense, filled with tiny particles moving around in an energetic soup. Some of these particles, called quarks, combined to form protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atomic nuclei. These quarks were held together by particles called gluons, which acts as a glue that sticks the protons and neutrons together. As the universe cooled, protons and neutrons began to combine. The first atomic nuclei to form were those of hydrogen, the first element which consisted of one single proton. Some hydrogen nuclei combined with a neutron to form a heavier isotope called deuterium. As the process continued, deuterium nuclei fused to form helium, the second element, consisting of two protons and two neutrons. But the Big Bang only created the lightest elements. Inside stars, something entirely different happens. Stars are like giant pressure cookers. They are so hot and dense that they can squeeze atomic nuclei together to make new, heavier elements. This process is called nuclear fusion, and is responsible for creating elements like carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. The creation of heavier elements, like iron, happens in the core of massive stars near the end of their lives, when temperature and pressure become even more extreme. Elements that make up our body were made there. This fusion involves different pathways. The proton-proton chain, occurring in smaller stars like the Sun, has protons fused directly into helium, which release two free protons to continue the reactions. The carbon-nitrogen-oxygen, or CNO cycle, in larger stars produce energy more quickly, and has hydrogen fused into helium with carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen as catalysts. But stellar fusion can only create elements up to iron. To form elements heavier, even more extreme events are needed. When a giant star runs out of fuel, it collapses under its own gravity and explodes in a supernova. This explosion is so powerful that the extreme conditions that follow create heavier elements like gold, uranium, and platinum. Another way heavy elements are made is when two neutron stars collide. Neutron stars are the incredibly dense remnants of the stars that explode in a supernova. When they merge, they release massive amounts of energy, producing and spreading some of the rarest and heaviest elements, such as silver and palladium. Scientists have also managed to create 24 elements artificially, they're formed by rapidly smashing atomic nuclei together through particle accelerators. Their atoms are bombarded with protons and neutrons, mimicking nucleosynthesis. Because these elements are radioactive and therefore unstable, they decay very quickly. Over billions of years, natural elements have traveled through space and have become part of new stars, planets, and other celestial bodies. Everything around us, the air we breathe, the ground we stand on, and even our own bodies are made from this stardust. But the story doesn't stop here. The elements making you up are still on their journey, one that will continue long after you're gone. The universe is constantly creating, destroying, and recycling, and you're part of this vital process. Thanks for watching.